welcome to the Archeo Ventures Project. I'm Katie Paul. And I'm Justine Benanti. And here's what we're diving into this week. So as many people may know, Justine is an underwater archeologist, or maybe not know right now, but Justine's a maritime yeah, expert. <laughs> and I focus on the Middle East. And what I've really been looking at is the fact that to combine our two interests, Gulf states have really been bumping up their heritage and particularly their protection of underwater heritage. In fact, the University College of London in Qatar just held the first ever maritime heritage course in the Gulf region, which is fabulous because I think we all know that education is so important in terms of protecting cultural heritage. Right, you have no idea why you're going to protect it if you haven't been told why. <laughs> exactly. And Justine knows a lot about this topic because she works on the Slave Shipwrecks Project, which is under George Washington University? Yes, exactly. So GW sponsors it, but it's also sponsored by the new African American History and Culture Smithsonian Museum, the National Park Service, the new uh, South African Heritage Resources Agency, Zika Museums of South Africa, and Typing wow. with a Purpose. It's a huge project. <laughs> yeah, it's a major project. I mean, this is the first project that will aim to document and conserve shipwrecks that found her during the transatlantic slave trade. You know, both East Africa and West Africa to Brazil, the Caribbean, and the Americas. But why is that so important? I mean, don't we have historical documents that are recording these types of incidents? It's not like ancient Egypt where we don't have any clue what happened, right? right. I mean, yeah, of course we have historical documents, but history is written by the winners. These are, unfortunately, a, a story and a people that literally have been left out of what was important at the time. So this project, I mean, to me, it's really important because we need to give them a voice that they weren't allowed at the time. So, I mean... This project will hopefully document the first uh, archaeologically excavated shipwreck that found her while people were actually on it. So, I mean, it's a, it's a historically tragic event. I mean, so you focus not just in the Caribbean, but you focus right. where the slaves were coming from in Africa. Right. Too. I mean, it's not just the shipwreck itself. You know, it, the shipwreck is a time capsule event. So it's actually really great in terms of archaeologically dating things. You know exactly when things happened before or after, but. There's so much more to it than that. There, it's a people that came from somewhere and where they were going, the people who were working on the ship. I mean, it's this vast history of, of people. People really can't know who they are until they know where, where they came history. from. Exactly. Yeah. So if you have any thoughts on this, you can tweet us at Archaeoventurer or visit our website at Archaeoventurers.com. That's all the time that we have for today. I'm Katie Paul. And I'm Justine Bonanzi. Thanks for getting dirty with us.